Yeah, we're, we're across the street from the vigil, partially to be respectful. The family has asked us to do that, and because you probably can then get a sense of the traffic in this corner, which the family of five-year-old Patrick Chacon says is a problem. He and his grandma were on the crossing area when they were hit. It's terrible, she says, holding back tears, referring to the hit and run this weekend at Budlong and Marine that killed five-year-old Patrick Chacon and badly injured his grandmother, Emma, her longtime neighbor. It is so hard to accept, she says, but not difficult to imagine. Adding that traffic at the intersection is dangerous. She echoes many people dropping off flowers or just walking by the corner. People speed down here. It just needs, like, speed bumps will help, uh, cameras. I mean, definitely people speed down here. There's so much speeding up and down the street here, and it's just constant. That resident does not want his face on camera, but points to children that use the intersection to go to school. The street is very busy. Cars try to beat the light. Gardena police say speed was not a factor here, even as the impact was serious enough to kill a child and badly injure his grandmother. She says that Emma, the grandmother, is in intensive care. She has a broken legs, some broken bones. Investigators telling us they are looking for a mid-sized dark SUV with damage to the front. Anyone with information, please give them a call. In Gardena, I'm Christina Gonzalez. Back to you guys in the studio.